beautiful light, a mesmerizing art encounter amidst the quiet grandeur of the historic Arizona Canal at Scottsdale Waterfront. The location itself to me was more interesting than the usual urban location because of the canal. Um, the canal implies a, a past that uh, um, to me is uh, very interesting for this region because it, it, it almost implies in some ways this unsustainable future uh, which we experience now on a worldwide scale. Um, ideas of water and of, of history and of past civilizations. The Valley's canal system is actually based on the ancient Hohokam canal system of 13 centuries ago. In downtown Scottsdale, the canal has really been transformed into a waterfront and a vital urban destination. There aren't really specific messages in my pieces. Uh, they're more there to, uh, to kind of provoke people to think. A lot of the ideas that I'm thinking about are ideas of language, uh, the ideas of scale, um, uh, both the simplicity and the complexity of language uh, and the evolution uh, as to how it developed, how it became, uh, I still believe, our primary technology. You know, things like uh, you know, computers and integrated circuits and uh, you know, manned flight, all of those things are fascinating, but they pale in comparison to the to the creation of language. Uh, it's, it's what really has made us what we are. The visual drama of Beautiful Light created highly personalized experiences. For many viewers, it seemed to evoke an almost insatiable need to read the graphics as a written language or a written narrative. It's easy to understand how people would do that considering clarity and understanding and knowledge are so important to our contemporary life. The more important four letters that we have to deal with are the DNA code, um, A, C, G, and T. Um, so we displayed those combinations, uh, in particular the, the FOXP2 gene, which uh, some scientists assert is the gene which uh, um, essentially describes or differentiates us from monkeys. It's a language gene. I see the mistakes that people make as being critical in our evolution, both for the evolution of technology, because some of our greatest breakthroughs have been through accidents and mistakes. This artwork was purposefully elusive and mysterious. People were inexplicably drawn in, captivated, still, uh, almost breathless as they watched the show unfold. There was a human story being told here. We couldn't keep our eyes off the performers when they sometimes had to exert great effort in manipulating the switching system that controlled the artwork and the messages. There was a lot of chaos and a lot of randomness after the Fox P2 gene was displayed is when the language became very clear and concise. Some of the light bursts represent fundamentals of life, fate, love, hope, yet most are simply an ambiguous string of constantly transitioning patterns, a challenge to fully comprehend, best appreciated for their dramatic visual metamorphosis. It's one of those artworks that really becomes complete only when we have personal human experiences with it. The artwork instigated a lot of questions. Is it malfunctioning? Uh, how is that message getting between the artist and the performers and the artwork? Uh, what does it all mean? These are some of the questions that an artwork like this provokes. Unprecedented, provocative, and immersive, Beautiful Light drew in a diverse audience in an unparalleled experience on Scottsdale's urban canal waterfront. Thank you.